Welcome to our how-to video on using the forecast tool. Go ahead and click on the projections icon from SurvivalWare's home screen. And let's first clear whatever previous forecasting we've done by clicking on the clear projections button. Yes. Also, we can press more to view a bit more of our historical data. We'll go to the Sales and Expenses tab and stay there for simplicity's sake. And let's highlight all of our sales categories by highlighting the first and pressing Shift and Down. And now, let's go to the Forecast tool. So let's do the Seasonal Forecast first, since it's a very common one but we'll leave the adjust by at 0%. The seasonal forecast is able to calculate trends based on natural variations in our data, of which we need at least two years worth. We can restrict our data sets through these two options, but we'll ignore those for now. And down here we see all the categories that will be forecasted. And let's go ahead and pull the trigger. We can see forecasting a whole bunch of it. And if we click on trends, we can see what we've just done graphically. We can alter what we're viewing by clicking on month, quarter, year to date, or year. And also the second row gives us more or less bars. So let's click on month and this last icon to the right to really see the full picture of what we're doing. Also we can click next to see the other sales categories that we've just projected. Alright, and we have the same sales categories highlighted, so if we just go back to the forecast tool, we can do last year plus X percent next. This style of projection takes your monthly data and adds a percent growth to it. Let's optimistically choose 4% and then pull the trigger. The numbers have changed slightly, and we can view our trends. Let's view a little bit less than that. This is just for the projected. And we can scroll through to see how that has affected our sales. Okay, let's highlight some expense categories. So we'll scroll down here. highlight a few of these operating expenses by pressing shift and down and then click on the forecast tool and this time we'll do a year-to-date average this trend takes an average of our year-to-date data and projects it into the future so let's pull the trigger and then click on trends And we see that since it's just an average, we get a flat rate for the ones that actually have numbers in them. Now let's play out a scenario. Let's say we want to do a special advertising push. So if we scroll down to other operating expenses, we can highlight these white cells and then manually type in what we want. So let's say that over the next three months, we want to spend $3,000 each month on leaflets to mail out to people. So we type three, asterisk, 3,000, and enter. And in addition to that, we'd like to get some spiffy new t-shirts to give away for free that have our logo on it to get our name out there. And we're willing to spend $5,000 
over the next three months and hope that this brings in quite a bit of business. So we press three asterisk 5,000 and enter. Now if we highlight total operating expense and click on trends, we can see that for these three months our operating expenses jump up. But maybe that's not exactly what we want. Maybe we want to put those off for another three months. So let's highlight these two categories. Click on the forecast tool. And then go down to delay by. And we'll go ahead and delay by three months. And then pull the trigger. And we see that sure enough, those numbers have been put off by three months. So now let's highlight the total operating expenses again and click on trends. And we see that those have been displaced three months. And maybe this is what we want and maybe it's not. But now we have the tools to be able to choose the future we want as best we can. Thanks for watching.